Hey guys, Jay Stubb with Rust again, the Rust Alpha, so there's a couple of, what do you call it, there was a wipe, so my house got completely demolished, so I made a new house, I was able to, because of the restart, so everything got restarted, so not, I don't think, I have a feeling you don't spawn with a weapon, but I'm not sure if any of that's true, because I, I logged out with all my stuff, because last time a person wall glitched into my base and stole all my goods, so I logged out with all my stuff, so I still have my stuff, my house is not here, so let's go, so, well, when you're finished with the house, so when you're done finishing building a house, what you want to do is start making some preparations for your house. So, right now this is still alpha, so that means people could probably still find a way to glitch in here, even though it looks like it's sealed off. So, not everything is here to stay. So, what the first thing I'm going to make is a sleeping bag, which requires 20 cloth, which you can get off of any animal in the game. So far, any animal drops cloth. So, I'm going to make a sleeping bag. And what this does is it allows you to respawn at the sleeping bag. So I think if you click camp respawn, I think if you die with a sleeping bag, you'll respawn with the sleeping bag. So here's a sleeping bag, and I ended up making two sleeping bags. I don't know why I made two sleeping bags, but here's one, so I'm going to place one right here. And then since I made two, not sure how I made two, I'm going to place the other one outside. I'm going to go outside, and actually not that way. <laughs> so you want to go outside, not that way either. Go outside, and I'll just throw a sleeping bag. Yeah, all the way over here where nobody would expect it. So now I have two sleeping bags. I'm not sure if that affects the spawns or not, but we have two sleeping bags. So I'm going to go back in here, close the door, and continue. So now in this game, Rust, you can actually craft things for survival. So the basic uh, survival tool is the campfire. So what does the campfire do? The campfire allows you to put materials like ore that I have, cloth, or anything, almost anything you can put in the campfire and it will turn to something else. So, if I put cloth in the campfire, it will turn into leather. If I put a metal ore, it will dissolve into metal fragments, which can be used for making guns, sulfur, or charcoal, depending on charcoal. I keep calling it charcoal, depending on what you place into the fire. Fire. So, we're going to build the fire, so the fire is built. So, I'm going to place it right here. Now, you want to be war now warning about the fire. Lighting a fire equals players. Like, like moths to flame, think players to flame. Players will come running to the fire like ASAP. So what you need to do is to keep the fire going. Just put some logs in it, and it'll burn off one every couple of seconds. And then you want to place the items around the wood. So right now I'm not sure if you have to do this at the moment, but if nothing changes, then be sure to do it. But what you have to do, not sulfur. That's what you get. You want to put the things around the wood that you're burning. Now I'm not sure if that's intended or if it's not working properly yet, but things tend to burn when they're next to the wood, so I put all the items next to the wood. But remember, this is alpha, any of this can change. So I'm going to wait a couple seconds while that burns. Uh, it's still daylight outside. They did make nighttime. Nighttime is not as bad as before. I'm not sure if they exactly changed it, but I'm not having that much issue with nighttime right now. There's maybe a minute of complete darkness, so I just stand still and mine. I mean, whatever wood. <laughs> chop wood, that's the word. I chop one until then. So I'm going to open it up so it's still cooking, so I'm going to wait for it to cook a little Alright, now we're back. So it cooked up, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. So we got some sulfur, more sulfur, and everything can stack it to 250, and we got some cooked chicken breast. So you can see my hunger is really low, so I'm actually going to eat two of these chicken breasts. And while in the meantime, another thing you want to add to your house, let's go to crafting. And we're going to make a wooden storage box. So what this does is, you can put your items in a storage box. Now, if a hacker breaks down the doors, or if somebody wall glitches in here, pretty much they go right for the storage box. So any, I suggest any super rare items if you are in the alpha, and I will stress again, also, I don't know how to get alpha keys, I was actually given this key by a fan of the stream, so I don't know how to actually get alpha keys. So, uh, if you are in the game, you want to actually take any of your super rare loot like guns, attach it to yourself, then log out. Don't keep it in your box at this moment, because there's ways to somehow get inside of places, so you definitely don't want to do that. And it looks like it made two wooden store box, storage box, boxes. So I don't think that's actually intended to make two storage boxes, so I'm not sure if that's actually intended. So that may be a bug why it's doubling everything. So now what we can easily do in a storage box is storage. So I'm just going to drop items that I don't use at all in here, mostly garbage items, because anything else I will keep. If I do go on a run to get any, uh, what do you call it, loot, I usually drop off anything, everything in the uh, box. I don't want to run off with all this loot on me. But then again, it could get stolen by a hacker, as always. So we're going to put everything in here, so I'm going to keep the wood, actually going to take the hatchet out, put the wood in. So we also have some gunpowder, which I killed off of a person. I took off a person that tried to attack my other house back on my other house. It was alive, I guess we'll say. So I got my 
what do you call it? I got gunpowder off of him. So let's start crafting some stuff. So I'm gonna take. We got 46 fragments now, so that's pretty good. And some charcoal. So let's start crafting again. So let's go to crafting. Now I have metal fragments, so I can actually make a gun, I think. So I can make with gunpowder, I can make ammo with gunpowder, but I'm not sure where to exactly get gunpowder. I think it drops off the random boxes in the place. I can make a 9mm pistol right now, so I'm actually going to make that with the metal fragments. So I'm going to craft. It takes one minute to actually make this pistol. So that's pretty hard to do. So I don't need the fire right now, so I'm actually going to take whatever I got here and I'm going to shut it off because I don't want people uh, seeing me in here. Like I, I want them to know that this house is empty. Like Usually people, don't, unless they're a hacker, people don't usually attack houses that look like they have no activity. So I'm going to keep that there so the screen will be pitch black because it is dark in here there are no lights it's still pretty dark inside but let's see so I have now have a bunch of chicken breasts so I'll just eat another one why not and then stack it and my gun should be almost ready so waiting for the gun got another 20 seconds on the gun alrighty so voila we have a gun finally so it has the damage it has stats which I, I love stats I just absolutely love stats and I'm gonna put this here so you can not equip two guns at the same time so since I have a different gun I'm actually going to take the 9mm, I mean, I'm going to take the ammo for both out, so let's see, hold on a second. This is a P250, so I don't actually have anything about that. I'm going to drop the empty cases, I mean, you might be able to use them for something, but I'm not actually going to use them right now. Now I'm going to make some ammo for the gun, so I have 9mm ammo, I can click this little plus in the corner, and I can make 5 pieces of ammo because I only have 5 gunpowder left, so I have to figure out how to make gunpowder. I'll be look, re doing some research on how to do the gunpowder, so I'm going to take this. So to get your ammo, you want to equip your gun, and you actually have to reload it for the ammo to change. You can't, like, drag it to the gun at the moment. So right now we have our ammo, and I like I like the gun plagues. It's, it is, I think, like Team Fortress 2 or Gary's Mod. I haven't played Gary's Mod, so I can't really describe it. But the gun play is pretty simple. So now we have two guns. So I'm actually going to put one gun in the storage, and I'm going to go out to explore and go hunting and see if I can build any other things for this video. Alrighty, so here's a quick example of the hacker thing. So what I didn't do here was you don't want to use a wall in the beginning of the alpha because walls don't work that well because you can simply just jump through it if you glitch hard enough. So right here you can see there's like an opening and voila, I just went right through the wall. So what I want to do is actually get more wood on my next run and build that up so that does not happen. Alrighty, so I was able to put two doors there and I want to see if I can put one right here. Alright, so this should be a little bit better. If I can get a ceiling, that would probably be good, but... Anyway, that's pretty much just an optional thing right here. I mean, people may be able to glitch up here. You gotta check everything, pretty much. So yeah, it looks like somebody can actually run up here and glitch on over, so that kind of sucks. So I gotta put some kind of roof or something over there. Alright, see, now I've glitched through my own door, but as you can see, I'm trying to push through a lot harder and it's a lot harder because of the wood barricades so nobody should be able to glitch too hard so that's also good thing so let's see if we can make any other thing so I don't know if this guy is still here but I'm going to place a door right in front of the door to block whatever the hell that it is I'm going to place another door right here too just in case they try to knock this down and I'm going to place a door right here just in case they try to knock this down so I assume this guy is probably outside Maybe he left, he didn't knock anymore, but I'm just going to place doors wherever I can, just so people can't get in. So nice one in the corner too, and it takes about, two, according to the wiki, 200 hits to break down a door normally without hacks. So you can also place doors right behind the other, so now it's 400 hits if you want to go through this way. So I might go outside to see if he's still out, but I think that's it here. So thanks for watching this video, you guys. Hopefully this gives you some tips on Rust, and for anybody not playing, hopefully this gives you some interest in Rust. If you guys want more, thumbs up the video and subscribe for more so I know you guys actually want more. And I also do Daisy and Wild stuff if you guys enjoy that. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.